Well, it's cute as a button, isn't it? Oh my goodness, look at the details from the brass letterbox to the colours on the doors and even the drain pipe matches. It's almost like a child's drawing of a kind of perfect imaginary home, isn't it? Oh, guys. Oh, <gasps> dark. <gasps> Love that oh, mustard sofa. This is gorgeous. And look down here is oh. the favorite spot. <laughs> oh, this is just lovely. I've got a mustard velvet sofa in my home as well. And I have to say, it's probably my favorite spot. <laughs> yeah, even though the walls are so dark, I feel like it's been warmed up by this beautiful sofa and that pop of color behind us. But also, that you're getting hints from like the lighter wood floors, and the mirror kind of bounces the light around, so it never feels like it's dark or dingy. Yeah, I think the dark colour does make the room feel bigger, even though there's quite a lot of things in quite a small room. I wasn't actually expecting to get another window. I thought that was going to be the only one. So that's definitely making it brighter. But this thing of it sitting right at your front door, isn't that brilliant? I mean, you get yeah. so accustomed to like having a hall, and you think, someone's coming home, they're just literally walking straight in. That's brilliant. But because it's opening off the garden, on a nice day, you just leave that door open and just be completely connected between the inside and the outside. Oh, cosy oh. little bedroom. Oh, wonderful colours. Look at the colour of that headboard. Yeah, they've got some good small home tricks going on here with the floating shelf and the floating bedside table. It means that you're getting storage, but you can see the floor going all the way to the wall. It just helps to enhance the sense of space. It's a lovely generous kitchen. <laughs> it's just really simple, it's just wrap the units around and you've actually got a perfectly comfortable, happily working kitchen, it's brilliant. I love the shelving that they've created using bits of old scaffolding poles and big planks. It's really robust, it means you could store like a heavy casserole on there, but it also looks really cool. I love that even though this is a small kitchen, I probably wouldn't call it minimal. For me, a busy kitchen is just perfect. You should have everything out, everything to hand, so it's quite nice to see that it's obviously functional but it looks so perfect too. Oh, look at this. Ooh, we have a tile envy. <gasps> Lovely tiles. <laughs> okay, you can probably fit in here, look. <laughs> Next to the plants, a little greenery. <laughs> so tempting to treat by. <laughs> <laughs> They've got excellent taste in tiles everywhere in this home, but especially in here, I love these sort of floral mosaics and of course the pink. And then you've got the greenery to sort of brighten it up. It feels very fresh. Well, what I like about this home is they seem to arrange everything around the greenery. It's like start and we'll get the plants in and then we'll figure everything else <laughs> around about it. I knew from the get-go that I would be smitten with this home. I saw that lilac door with the dried floral wreath and the letterbox, and I knew straight away we were about to see something special. I think there's probably a misconception that smaller houses have to be quite minimal, but this home was so busy throughout, but in a way that was really functional. Everything was laid out so well, and it never felt like it was too small or claustrophobic in any way.